what Hollywood did for America in the 20th century, I want art to do for America in the 21st century. The difference in the art worlds than in now. There's still a bit of respect, I think, for being able to do it in New York. Oh, I met Jean Michel when he was like, you know, just a little kid running around doing graffiti. So subsequently you became friends with Andy Warhol. You know, there's no boundary to being in the art world. My art is basically about me. I, I thought maybe you had one of those New York stories of coming here and climbing the ladder and finally finding a job. When I got here, I worked at Magnolia Icing Cupcakes. You pose the Warhol factory as being the nexus. They don't see art anymore. They see money. They see a bag holding $100,000 hanging on their wall. So I did this song, How to Be a Top. You need to know the people who are potentially going to buy your art. I don't know shit about New York. It took me forever to figure out what the art world was. New York City. New York. New York. Coming to New York. What do you do in New York right now? I think New York always has the post to New York. Damien Hurst did a show at Gagosian. And I came here alone. That looks like Raymond Pettibone. Yeah, that's Ray's work. We asked him to do a record cover for us, which was Goo, which was our first major label record. The art world is less centralized than it once was. Things about art in New York are generally portrayed in kind of a stereotypical way. They grew up completely and started developing as artists locked out of the marketplace so they could do anything. As far as I'm concerned, New York is still the center of the art world. 